Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Ramsha Sultan and today I am going to tell you guys top 5 duas that you can make in Ramzan or even outside Ramzan and they are going to help you so much inshallah. So let's get started with the video. The first dua is La ilaha illallah nastaghfirullah nas'alukal jannata wa na'uzu bika min an-nar. It means I believe in no other god except Allah. I seek forgiveness from him and I ask for paradise and I seek protection from the hellfire. This is a very special dua for Ramzan. You should recite this every time. In fact, whether you're standing or sitting, you should recite it all the time. And if you recite this dua, inshallah, the doors of paradise would be open for you. The second dua is, Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. It means, O oh Allah, you are the forgiver. You love to forgive. So forgive me. Aisha Razi Allah Ta'ala asked Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, that if I ever witness the night of Laylatul Qadr, what should I recite in it? So our Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, told her this dua. So it is highly recommended to recite this dua as much as you can in the last 10 nights of Ramzan, especially if you are searching for the night of power. The next dua is Rabbana Atena Fid Dunya Hasanatam Wafil Akhrate Hasanatam Wakaina Azaban Nar. It means our Lord give us in this world that which is good and in the hereafter that which is good and save us from the torment of the hellfire. This is a Quranic dua and as per many scholars, this is one of the best duas that you can make because Allah himself has taught us to make this dua to him. Also, just think of anything that you want in this world or in the hereafter. This dua encompasses all the things that you want. So in times when you have very little time and you quickly want to make a dua and just get busy with all the work, just make this dua and you're good because it will comprise of all the things that you want, all the goodness of this world and the akhira would be yours if you recite this dua. The fourth dua is Hasbun Allahu wa al wakil, naam al mola wa naam al nasir. This means Allah is sufficient for us and He is the best guardian. What an excellent protector and what an excellent helper. This again is a Quranic dua. When Ibrahim salam was thrown in fire, he recited this dua and the fire cooled down on him. That fire could not even burn his single hair. So this is a very powerful dua. So you can recite this dua in times of difficulty when you can't find any hope. Just recite this dua and Allah's protection and Allah's help will be with you. This is one of the most beautiful duas of the Quran and you should learn it and recite it often. The fifth dua is Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi Subhanallah al azim This means all glory is to Allah and all praise to Him. Glorified is Allah the Great. Our Prophet Muhammad may peace be upon him said that there are two words which are light on the tongue but heavy on the scale and then he taught us this dua and it is recommended that you recite this dua a lot. Huzoor said that whoever recites this dua hundred times a day all his sins would be forgiven even if they are equivalent to the foam of the sea and if you have any idea you can't even imagine how much foam the sea makes even if your sins are to that level they would be forgiven so it is a very powerful dua and it is one of the best zikr that you can do so no matter what you're doing just keep reciting this dua subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanallah al azim i want to give you one bonus dua which is one of the most powerful duas of the quran it is La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minas zalimin. It means, O oh Allah, there is none worthy of worship besides you. Glorified are you. Surely I am from the wrongdoers. This is again a Quranic dua. When Yunus alayhi was inside the stomach of a whale, 
he recited this dua and it is because of this dua that he was forgiven so it is said that whoever recites this dua and then ask allah for anything his dua will not be rejected and it will be accepted so it is a very powerful dua and you should always recite it before asking anything from allah and inshallah it will be accepted and that's it for the video guys i was actually about to give you a list of 20 duas but then i thought it would become really long so i ended up giving you only five duas and i have the list of these duas with me and if you want them i will be putting them on my instagram stories so please make sure to follow me on instagram as well and you will get the hard copy of it and yeah if you want the list for more duas make sure to comment down below and i'll make a series out of it out of new parts and yes if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my youtube channel this is me ramsha sultan signing off